outreach and program. Nobody showed up. <laughs> Welcome to Grace Episcopal Church. Today we are celebrating the service of morning prayer, which is, will be found on page 77 in your prayer book. But first, please stand and we will sing, Morning is Broken. page 77 in our Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Please turn to page 79. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was with the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please turn to page 82. We will read together a portion of Psalm 95, the Vanity. 
Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Psalm appointed for today is a portion of the 145th Psalm. We will read responsibly by half verse. All your works praise you, O Lord. They have made known the glory of your kingdom, that the peoples may know of your power. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord upholds all those who fall. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord. You open wide your hand. The Lord is righteous in all his ways. The Lord is near to those who call upon him. Please be seated as we hear our lessons. You all please bear with me. The words are big and the print is small. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Baal Shalisha, bringing food from the first fruits to the man of God, 20 loaves of barley and fresh ears of grain in his sack. Elisha said, give it to the people and let them eat. But his servant said, how can I set this before a hundred people? So he repeated, give it to the people and let them eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and have some left. He set it before them, they ate and had some left. According to the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Paul's letter to the Ephesians. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who by in us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You may remain seated. A reading from John's Gospel. Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw signs that he was, that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up to the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, six months wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. 
But what are they among so many people? Jesus said to them, make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given them, he gave thanks. He distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left those by those left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is, to, who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea and got into a boat. When even, It was now dark and Jesus had not come to him. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward where they were going. The word of the Lord. It's easy to gloss over the miracle stories that are recounted in the gospel. Is it necessary to our faith that we believe that Jesus really walked on water or magically multiplied the loaves and fishes? Why do we keep telling these stories? The story we hear in today's lesson is about Jesus feeding the 5,000. It comes from John. This story stands out over all the other miracle stories in the Bible. It shows up not only in Matthew and Mark and Luke, but in today's reading, John's Gospel, which is worth noting because there's not a lot of things in common between John's Gospel and the other Gospels. Not only is this in all four Gospels, two of our Gospel writers, Matthew and Mark, liked this story so much they told it twice. So this story about the feeding of the multitudes is mentioned in the Gospels six times. Um, but it's simply, it's just not a miracle story. It's a parable. Maggie, bring up my parable box. Or Jane, bring up my parable box. Or Jane, bring up my parable box. We keep parables in golden boxes because they are valuable. Parables are like presents. They've been given to us. We teach our children that parables are gifts that are to be open and to be given freely to, to disco, explore and discover. The feeding of the 5,000 is a parable about what we are called to do and who we are. Honestly, if we are going to follow Jesus, at some point, he is going to turn to us and say, give my people something to eat. God gave us a world already provided with the sun and moon and earth and water and soil and seeds. In the feeding of the multitudes, Jesus does not make something out of nothing. He takes the loaves and the fishes that are already there. What Jesus shows is that whatever we have, whatever God has given us, it's always enough. If we look at it the right way, if we decide to share, if we let go of fear and stop holding on so tightly to what we think is just ours. If we can do those things, we absolutely have enough to feed so many others. Imagine the crowd that day gathered around Jesus. His disciples saw a problem. Jesus saw a cookout for 5,000 people, a picnic with everyone spread out on the grass, enjoying the sunset on the lakeshore and the cool evening breeze. 
That's how Jesus wants us to see the world. 5,000 people on the lake shore, that's not a problem. It's a party. Whatever we brought with us is what we share, and there's plenty for everyone, and moreover, left besides. That's not only a compelling picture of what the kingdom of God looks like, it is possible. We already have what we need to achieve it right here in our midst. Amen. Please stand. Bring your prayer book. And turn to page 96 in your book of common prayer. And we will state, we will state together the, the, Apollos, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. He had the third day he rose again and is seated at the right hand, and seated at the, right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. In the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue together on page 97. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For all you do, and Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth. Your saving God among all nations. Let, let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. We continue in your bulletin on page one is the collect, contemporary collect for today. Together we will pray. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that you, with ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that they not, not things eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 98 as we pray together a colic for Sundays. O oh God, you made us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And on the middle of page 100, a collect for guidance. Together, Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Please return to your bulletin, page three. Prayers for the people.
Let us now pray for the health and vitality of our world and the church as Christ's body in and to the world. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O oh Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O oh Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O oh Lord. Look with favor on those who celebrated birthdays last week and this week, especially Tucker Newsom, Brett Bechtel, Sue Roberts, Maria Wilkie, Fran Krause, Kate Lambert, Bill Palmer, Lindsey Black, Arnold Harris, Sarah Holland, Emily Williams, J.D. Ann Underwood, Paula Fields, Lori Cathy, and those who celebrated anniversaries last week and this week, especially Josie and Wheeler Underwood, Peggy and Todd Henney, Barbara and Mike Livingston, Hannah and Jake Shelley. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Restore to wholesomeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. You are the Lord who does wonders. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. Hear us, O Lord of life. O Christ the rock on which your people as living stones joined together grew into a spiritual house. Defend your church, we pray. O Christ, you sent the Holy Spirit upon the church, clothe it with power from on high. We pray to you, you, Lord Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. We lift all of our many concerns and challenges to you, your never failing care, trusting in your righteousness and boundless love for us and all whom you have created. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing and grab a hymnal because we have a great hymn. Grab a hymnal. We're, it's near the back of your hymnal. Hymn 635 will be our offertory hymn. And by the way, I skipped the sequence hymn. Sorry about that. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave to him self for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
just a few announcements. Get myself organized. Um, the flowers this week are in honor of Jake and Hannah's anniversary, and Hannah is back at work next week. Hey, hey absolutely. Um, the reason why we had two weeks of birthdays and anniversaries in the announcements is because I don't know if you've all been paying close attention this summer, but Father Kimpton is bringing it. He, I'm with different prayers for people, different blessings. I finally went up to him last week and said, I know you write some of them, but where are you getting this stuff? And he said, the New Zealand Book of Common Prayer, which I ordered. So I welcome you to come back on August 18th and 25th, where I'll be here, because I'm cracking that book open myself. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the announcements are full of a lot of falsities, as you've seen already. I want to thank our lay reader, Trish Hines, <laughs> and Teresa for bringing prayers to people. It also says that there's going to be blood pressure checks after the service. There's not. But I know a way that we can lower the blood pressure of our fierce leader, Trish Hines. In your mailbox this week, you got a letter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with that letter came this little envelope that is so convenient because it has a little address sticker so you know where it's going. And the size of it, what do you think that holds? A check, for those of you who still have checkbooks. So I would commend to you all the fundraising that's going on so we are not, how I say this, robbing from our... From our trust fund. Yeah, we're not robbing, yes. You probably live within your name. Yes, so... So I would um, welcome everyone to check your mail again. Find the lovely letter. It comes with this very convenient envelope. Um, today, after church, Gloria is going to talk about her time at, at convention. And Claudia bought treats. I mean, and you're going to have a 40-minute service. So do stay, listen to Gloria, and enjoy some treats from Claudia. Um, there was one more thing. Oh, finally, I'm, I'm going to say the man's name wrong, so I'm not going to say it. But from what I understand, we have a new choir director starting in at the end of August. I want to say thank you to Jason. Today, I don't know if you've noticed it because I skipped a song, but <clears throat> he's given us a Gaelic tune with Morning is Broken. We went full German reformation there just right now with our with our with our um, operatory and for the recessional we're going back to England and we're going full Episcopalian Anglican Ralph is it Vaughn Williams yeah he's like the guy that wrote the book so thank you Jason for being with us this summer and for taking us on a little tour this morning You know, for those of you who don't know our church well, there's a lot of German hymns. Because, frankly, at the time, Germans and the Brits were real reformers when it came to the... So we embraced each other's music and we embraced each other's traditions. That, that being said, Martin Luther and Henry VIII died Catholic. Um, <laughs> All righty. I need you to stand... And turn to your Book of Common Prayer as we pray together the Office of General Thanksgiving. Together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and for all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives 
by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory. <coughs> Amen. Please turn the page and we will continue our prayers. At this time, with one accord, to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through the well beloved Son that when together will be and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Please grab your hymnal, remain standing, and our recessional hymn, I got to find the right hymnal. Sorry about that. Is him 591. What? Verses 1 and 3. 591, 1 and 3. All right. Thank you. 